I don't see any issue more important than privatizing education. And while in some ways having a locked uh, federal government, Republican, Democrat, they're all against privatizing education. Yep. Besides sending your own children to a private school that you choose, what kind of things can we do to advance the movement? And does it take going authoritarian and a revolution before we're going to see private education in the U.S.? I, I mean, who knows, but it, it, it probably is going to take a while because because it's the most important thing. It's also the most difficult thing. Um, I would say support um, education saving accounts. Um, there are organizations that promote them. Uh, the specific structure of education saving accounts was promoted by the Goldwater Institute in Arizona. They do good work on it. I, I'm sure there are others who do good work on it. Um, but that to me is the best way to privatize because it's it's a it's in a sense a pain-free way to do it it's because the government continues to fund the education, but parents have a choice of how to deploy the dollars. Uh, so it's still redistribution of wealth, but at least it gets government out of education, out of the, the, the management, the decision-making, the, the, the running of schools. And to me, it's fascinating. Uh, people say, oh, if we had private education, kids wouldn't be able to afford to go to school. And then I bring up education saving accounts. I said, okay, so I'll grant you that the government should pay for the school. But how about we do it through an education saving account with it? And they, they still won't accept it, even though I've taken away their prime objection, because that's not really the objection, right? They, they say it's not fair because then kids with the money can choose which schools that they want to go to. Yeah, but everybody gets the money. That's the thing about education saving accounts. That's true. Rich parents can supplement more than poor parents, but they can today as well. So it doesn't put us in a worst case and it makes it, it's obviously better without any of the costs that they attribute to it. What they ultimately say, if you push them, they're embarrassed about it. But what they ultimately say is, I don't trust parents to make that decision. Mm -hmm. And that's the barrier. It's the platonic philosopher king idea. It's uh, poor people can't make decisions like that for themselves. I have to make that decision for them. That's what it boils down to. It's, it's uh, um, paternalism. And paternalism is very strong among the middle class and the, and the wealthy. Very strong. Poor people have no, I mean, I think poor people would embrace education saving accounts like this. It's the middle class that objects to them. It's the educated middle class that objects to them. It's, the poor um, people will send their kids to the wrong school. They won't make good choices. Or they won't send them at all. Or they'll, they will, how will they choose? What will they know? I mean, yeah, I mean, that's, yes, that's always what it boils down to, the real objections. Because the financial stuff is bogus. You can get over that easily. I, I quote, the, and then I give them the story of the beautiful tree. I don't know if you read that. Yeah. Yes. But they still, they can't get away from the paternalism. But, 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 yeah, but I agree. It is the number one issue. If we could privatize schools, everything else would fall in. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, 
the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at yourunbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.